Welcome back fourth graders and just so that your teacher knows that they got the right video this is 6.5 renaming improper fractions as mixed numbers but I just want you to think about something for a second that I'm not sure you've noticed but I've noticed it. This is the sign for division you've seen it before but have you ever noticed how the sign for division kinda looks like a fraction? Yeah this is my high-tech animation where I turn this into three-fourths but Notice how this kind of looks like a fraction. Something to think about. You're going to find out why that is today. All right, we're going to learn about renaming improper fractions as mixed numbers using dun -da -da -dun -dun -da, the division rule. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited about this. So we're going to go over how to change an improper fraction to a mixed number using fraction towers and candy bars. And then we're going to actually learn the math behind it. Let's start with the fraction four thirds. This is an improper fraction. Why? That's right, because the numerator is bigger than the denominator, meaning that's equal to one more than one whole. In fact, it's actually equal to I even have an equal sign here. It's actually equal to one and one third. I'm going to prove that to you with fraction towers right now. All right, if I have this one whole thing here and I divide into three even pieces, I get thirds. And what I have here is one, two, three, three thirds. But what we have over here is four thirds. Four thirds would look like this. If you want to build a tower with four thirds in it, you're going to have to borrow a second fraction set. Now, if I put these together, I have a fraction tower that is four one thirds tall. Four thirds tall. But it says over here that this is a mixed number and that this fraction tower is actually equal to 1 and 1 third. Well, let's look at this. If I actually take it, measure out one whole, and break it off, I end up with 1 whole and 1 third. See? 1, 2, 3, 4 thirds is actually equal to 1 and 1 third. Let's try another one with something a little more delicious. This is going to feel like review. We have another improper fraction, 6 fourths. Again, numerator bigger than denominator, so I know it's an improper fraction. We're going to use one of the most delicious fractions ever made by man, our Hershey's candy bar. So, first of all, I need to have fourths of a candy bar. And I don't have enough yet, so I need to make sure I have six fourths of a candy bar. And if you look at that, if I shove these fourths together to make one whole candy bar, I have one whole candy bar and two extra fourths. So what I actually have is one whole candy bar and two fourths of a candy bar. That's a mixed number. One whole candy bar and two fourths of a candy bar. But don't forget to simplify. That would actually equal one and a half candy bars. If you don't know how to simplify, you need to go back and look at that video. Let's try another one. All right, for this next example, if you want to look at your math book on page 244 as I go over this, I'm going to use the same fraction they use, 13 fifths, but I'm going to actually use fraction towers instead of these circle fractions. But you can look at the book if you want to review what I'm talking about. Okay, in front of us, we have 13 fifths. I have 13 of these one fifth pieces, and I'm going to show you what 13 fifths, an improper fraction, is as a mixed number. I'm going to do it using fraction towers first, but then I'm going to go back and do it again using the division rule. So here we go. Let's do it with fraction towers. The first way we're going to do it is make sure that we take five of these one-fifths together and form one whole. Five-fifths is equal to one whole. We're going to do it again if we have five more. and we have three-fifths left over. So, if we did that as a mixed number, we would have, basically, let's use the magic of video, two whole and three-fifths, which would look something like this. All right, we need to talk for a moment about vocabulary word that you need to know. This little line doohickey thing in the middle actually has a name and it is called the fraction bar. And this little line right here actually means divided by. The fraction bar line means 
divided by. So when I show you here 13 fifths, which is an improper fraction, I'm actually saying 13 divided by 5. I'm going to show you that right now. 13 fifths is 13 divided by 5. Now I'm going to change the colors on this to help you keep a few things straight. The numerator is now in orange, the denominator is in 5. We're going to actually take 13 and divide it by 5. 13 divided by 5, see how I turn the line into a division symbol? 13 divided by 5. Now that's not the way we normally write things in fourth grade division. So I'm going to rewrite it as 13 divided by 5. Please watch closely. The denominator is out here. It's the divisor. The numerator is in here. It's the dividend. So 13 divided by 5. 13 divided by 5. If we divide 13 by 5, we get 2 with a remainder of 3. Watch these numbers closely. 13, 5, 2, and 3. So, when we rewrite that as a mixed number, that red 2 becomes our 2 holes. The divisor 5 becomes the new, becomes the denominator. It stays the denominator, actually. And then, that remainder has a very important role. That remainder goes here as the new numerator. So, this, you can use the division rule to convert 13 fifths into 2 wholes and 3 fifths. Let's try another one with the division rule. Okay, we're going to look at the improper fraction 11 thirds. Now, if you remember that middle thing in the middle is called what? Say it out loud if you know it. Hopefully you said fraction bar, and it means divided by. So if I take 11 divided by 3, 11 divided by 3 ends up with 3 remainder 2, which if I turn into a mixed number is 3 wholes with a remainder of 2 thirds. 3 wholes with a remainder of 2 thirds. So again, 11 thirds is the same thing as 11 divided by 3, which the answer to is 3 and a remainder of 2 thirds. Let's actually see that in fraction towers. 11 thirds in fraction tower, I'm taking the improper fraction and turning it into mixed numbers. I'm going to use magic to turn them into wholes. Now we see that we have 3 wholes and 2 one thirds left over. So 3 wholes and 2 thirds left over looks like this. 11 divided by 3 comes out as th goes into 3 whole times with a remainder of 2 left over. So using the division rule, if we divide 11 by 3, we come out with the mixed number 3 wholes and 2 thirds left over. All right, it's going to take some practice, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to let you get to it. Happy fractions, fourth graders.